dogs who walk. Somebody call the dogs who walk. I don't wanna die no more. What the hell are we fighting for? It's a matchup as old and storied as the sweet science itself. Brilliant and brashful youth. Devin Haney is the real deal. Against wisdom and experience. No one fights with quite the same skill or imagination. The young king versus boxing royalty. Lomachenko did it his way on his terms. At 24 years old, Devin the Dream Haney has scaled heights few fighters have. And now Haney's got the fire in his eyes on one hit on Twitter. Not only is he unbeaten, he's the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Devin the Dream Haney! One who's more than ready to assert his dominance against the man he felt denied him a title shot years ago. He made me wait four years to fight him, since so I was 20 years old. So I don't like Loma. I want to beat him bad. I want to send him to retirement. The silly Lomachenko has attained nearly every goal a fighter can in his prolific Hall of Fame career. Raining in shots on both levels is Lomachenko. Vasily Loma. The one exception being an undisputed champion. I go to the bed with this dream. I wake up with this dream. Now, then you have a big, big motivation. Loma is back. Vintage four. Not so long ago, Lomachenko was atop the mythical pound for pound list. Now, at 35, the former champion finds himself in an unfamiliar position. Loma has never been an underdog. This time, he's fighting a champion. He's fighting a bigger guy, stronger guy, faster guy, younger guy. All odds are stacked against him. Two fighters, two kings, face off for what would be their greatest victory. Only one will find it. This is Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Haney versus Lomachenko. For a man who reigned as champion for so many years, Vasily Lomachenko found himself struggling after his defeat to Teofimo Lopez where he lost his three lightweight belts. Now, the former champion finds himself with a new outlook on life. What happened in my life? I lose, I lose these three belts, I lose this fight, but I win, I win much more bigger than these three belts. The For me, it was very, very good. And uh, I understand it now. Now I start to live a second life uh, like a different man. Teofimo Lopez just beat Vasily Lomachenko. A unanimous decision. Before, I was a man who wanted to be, take a world. Inside, my, my ego was very big inside. A lot of people didn't, didn't see this, but after this lose, I saw myself. I started changing after this moment. Every time happened in time. Maybe it was not, it was not my time.
after Lopez uh, lose, you could go down and fight him. But I can't because I lose in a lightweight and I need to, I go on a lightweight, take my dream, take my goal and I can't change it. For me, it looks like you're weak. Body work, sweeping left hand, it is over. Loma is back. Vintage four. I still have my speed, my power, my condition. Vintage Lomachenko, they are loving it here too. I was very close with this goal. Now I have a second chance, but I have a second chance to take this goal like a different man. In February, the eyes of the boxing world were in Saudi Arabia for the Jake Paul-Tommy Fury matchup. As boxing's youngest ever undisputed champion, Devin Haney took his place center stage among the stars in attendance. Devin, tell me, in your opinion, what is a fighter? A fighter is somebody who can step in a square circle and perform in front of the world, in front of millions and millions of fans. And show their blood, sweat, and tears, their heart, their determination, all on one night in front of the world. When the bell sounds, it's go time, it's show time. That's when uh, all the skills, everything that you worked on in training camp, you gotta prove on that one night. Dedicated to the process. Dedicated to the process. Get it done. Longer strides, ready, go. Two, three, five. Right there, six. Two, two, three, four. Time, good. 34 both times, good. He knows when it's camp time, it's time to lock in and go. He's getting more focused every year. He's becoming more of a professional every year. Good. Rip. He trains hard. The goal for this one is make him powerful, nasty, and fast. I don't know fast. Load explode. Let's go. There it is. Come on. That's one. How high is that? We powerful up in here. Like 54 inches. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. My focus just comes from wanting to be one of the greats, one of the best ever. Legacy is definitely important to me. I won't stop until. My name is lives on longer than I ever will. So my name is mentioned with the greats of the sport of boxing. I want my name to be remembered forever. And every fight, I'm one step closer to that. Come on. There we ah. go. There we go. 43. Broke your personal best today. I like it. 4376. That's comparable. That's like an NFL linebacker. That's a NFL running back. So he's got some pretty comparable numbers for his size. He's stronger than people think he is. Can't shoot a cannon out of a canoe, right? You got to have a base. When I set out to do this, I didn't want to be mediocre. I didn't want to be just another boxer. I want to be the best. I don't fight for money. I fight for legacy. And that's what separates me from all the fighters today. I don't see fighters that fight for legacy. I see people that fight for clout, fight for money. They fight for the wrong things. But I'm a different kind of fighter. I'm a throwback fighter. But I want to be known as a man's man, a, a man that lives on principles. You know, I don't want to just be remembered for boxing because one day boxing won't be here. But I want people to know me as a person and respect me as a person. As a devout Muslim, Devin Haney observed the holy month of Ramadan, even as it fell in the middle of his training camp. During Ramadan, Muslims refrain from eating or drinking from sunup to sundown, a difficult task while training for the biggest fight of his career. Alhamdulillah, we have been blessed to make it to the blessed month of Ramadan. 
Fasting in the month of Ramadan is an opportunity for us to gain this kind of mindfulness where we can think about Allah SWT in our actions. So let's give ourselves this chance to get closer to Allah and experience the sweetness of the religion by trying to get all we can out of this Ramadan. Whatever that looks like for you, everybody's situation is different. Some people, Allah doesn't give them the ability to fast from food or drink, but we still can get benefits from this Ramadan. The holy month of Ramadan is important to me, you know, as a Muslim. I wanted the fight to be before Ramadan so I could fast for my family, but it wasn't something that we was able to do. So now I'm going through training camp during Ramadan. And if we can't fast, feeding people is one of the best ways that we can make up for it. He says we should feed the hungry people who need food what we love to eat. And so as we try to get closer to Allah during this month of Ramadan, we should remember that a part of our gleaning nearness to him is us serving the people and us helping the people and us striving to make things better for the people. It wasn't the healthiest for my body for me to be fasting all day and training multiple times. So that's when, as a team, we decided that the best was to just either make it up or celebrate next year and give back. And that's what I've been doing. I, I've been feeding people and giving back, you know, to make up for me not being able to fast. Los Angeles has one of the nation's largest homeless populations, especially the area known as Skid Row. In town for the Lomachenko press conference, Haney took to these streets to give back and give hope in accordance to his faith. Homelessness and hunger is a world problem, but if you can do a little bit to make it a better place, then we're happy. And uh, I'm always happy to see Devin getting out and doing charity. It's important as for us Muslims to feed people what we will eat. So um, we fed them chicken, we fed them food that we like. So I think they liked it. Allah has blessed us with so much, so it's only right that we get back. Thank you guys for what you guys are doing. Appreciate you. God you. bless you all. Thank you. 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 Thank After his dominant performance against Masayoshi Nakatani, Vasily Lomachenko showed the boxing world he was back. With his newly found focus, the mission to become champion again remained the driving force. Boxing for Loma, like for me and you riding a bicycle, we'll never forget. He just jumps in the rain, does preparation, go through the sparrings, and it comes back into his mind. Drop rounds for the WBA Intercontinental Lightweight title. Top it up, it's going to work. Loma is the one, I don't want to just to fight somebody. I wanted to fight the real champion. I wanted to fight the real guy. You can't just jump in and go for the undisputed. You have to go through a lot of guys, a lot of fight. The class of the silver Lomachenko. It has been evident all night long. Okay. And that's what has happened. The silly Lomachenko! Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's a rest day, and we want to shoot a little bit. It will be a little competition. After defeating Richard Comey, Lomachenko was offered a chance to fight for the undisputed lightweight title as his homeland fell under war. He turned down the historic opportunity, instead flying back to Ukraine to help his fellow countrymen and protect those dearest to him. You can't do anything when war come to your country and come to your house. It's not, it's not right, I think. I just try to defend my family, my house, and our country. It's a simple decision for, for people who loves your country, who loves your home, who loves your 
uh, family and your people. You don't think about your four belts for for undisputed Whoa. world champion. No, you you never thinking about this. Now I start thinking about uh, my family, about my kids. When they grow up, how it's gonna be and uh, where they are gonna be and who they are gonna be. Now this is part of my goal. Back in the United States, Vasily Lomachenko's desire to be undisputed remained constant. After serving his country during war, he returned to the ring last October, seeking a victory that would give him his chance at history. From top rank, the name came Ortiz. And I called Loma and I said, look, you can't find a champion now. You already fought all the veterans. How about if we come to fight Ortiz? Even and he was like, oh my God, it's good because he is uh, the best prospect today. He said, he is the best prospect today we can see in the, in the division. And he says, I would love to fight. And I seen him in the sparrings here. Of course, I thought it was gonna be a dangerous fight. But Loma likes danger. He works with the danger. The two-time Olympic gold medalist from Angolan, Ukraine. Everybody is waiting for him to do something wow. But he does enough to win a fight. Even with those big guys, with the long reach, tall guys. It's not a secret what he does in the ring. I do all what I need to for the win. I know I control the fight, I control a situation, and I know where I need to do more. For me, it was it was a fight. It was a very very good preparation for next fight. Imagine if you were climbing a mountain, and you can climb it at your own pace, it's not a race. And at the top of that mountain is whatever you need. We gotta climb a mountain, and we have to conquer a mountain, and the mountain that we have to conquer is the mountain of our own selves. You can't beat anybody unless you beat yourself. If you don't have the ability to beat yourself, to beat the lower desires, the urges, the habits that are human, then how are you gonna get to be able to beat anybody else? First, gotta beat yourself before you can beat somebody else. Just even in the gym, when you're training hard, you know, you beat yourself down you, to prepare for that one night. You're seeing the young master at work. That's what you're seeing right now. A young master at work. Devin Haney is the king right now. We go through eight, 12 weeks training camp just to prepare for one night. We die, we starve ourselves, our bodies are sore, we go through sparring, we beat each other up for just one night just to beat that one person across the ring. Devin the Dream Haney, at 23 years old, will head back to the States with every belt there is to grab on to. Make an arsenal tank. It's now a closed practice. There's no pictures, videos, or recording of any kind. We ask that you kindly put away your phones, cameras, so we do not make any mistakes. After two dominant victories over George Cambosis, the undisputed champ plans on making no mistakes in his upcoming bout. For Haney, the Lomachenko fight is one that has been four years in the making, one he feels 
will be four years too late for his rival. I think Loma should have fought me four years ago when I was calling for him. And I told him then, I said, fight me now because it's only gonna get worse. Now is the worst time to fight me because now I'm champion. Now my confidence is through the roof. I got the momentum. I got more experience. Everything has gotten better since four years ago. Use your legs. <laughs> That's good, yeah. The fight, it's everything that we've been looking for for four years. Devin has matured. He's developed both inside and outside the ring. We couldn't be more happy about the fight right now. Loma made me wait four years to fight him. I'm upset. I don't like him. I want to beat him bad. I want to send him to retirement. I do everything better. I hit harder, I'm faster, stronger, younger, more athletic, got more heart. There's nothing that he can do better than me. May 20th, watch me whoop on an amateur. The youngest undisputed champion ever. GXP! We never chased Haney or any other fighter, but uh, Father Bill ran into me exactly four years ago and uh, asked me how possible for us to fight Vasily Lomachenko. And I said, Bill, it's not happening. You guys just starting your career. It's not happening. When your kid achieves something into the sport, then we can talk about it, but it's not happening. Did he achieve something? Yes, he became an undisputed champion. Right now, we're putting a fight together. He is an undisputed world champion. He is real champion right now. Four years ago, why he talking about this? Now for him, it will be more easily than four years ago. We'll see. He has a chance to prove what he said. No more words, only May 20. Next time on Blood, Sweat and Tears, Haney versus Lomachenko. I think this is number one in the lightweight division versus number two. This fight determines who is the man of the lightweight division. Uh, I just feel like it's, it's nothing that Loma can do better than me. Loma is looking to retire soon. He's looking, you know, on his escape route. Me, I'm just getting started. You, you or him won't touch these belts. <laughs> I don't have the time. I'm not young. It's only one fight, four belts. And now it's close. It's very close.